I'm Grant Moon. I'm making a video for Mustad for the road to Calgary 2014. I'm making an Italian hind shoe. It's made from 350 millimeters of 25 by 10. This is a hind shoe. It's a, it's a long shape, so we need to make sure we make that characteristic. It's got nine nail holes, seven in the full ring and two in the toe. They're punched for Mustad Libro Arc Fives. You can see that we're going to make the shoe with masslets, but we also take away a little bit of material because we're going to be making very large clips on this shoe. It's okay to take some material like it's shown in the drawing, even though it specifies masslet clips. So I'm starting with 350 millimeters of 25 by 10. I'm going to mark it six millimeters towards the inside, so it's 12 millimeters longer on the outside. Once I've marked the middle of the toe, then when I heat it, I'm going to take two bumping heats. But I'm going to have one bumping heat for the outside, and one bumping heat for the inside for the mass lot. So it'll be the, from the center of the toe to 65 mil from center, and from the center, 65 mil. Now we're going to mark it with its six mil off center. And if you want, you can put a mark on the outside edge at 65. So I've localized the heat. Control it when we're bumping it. And it's going to take a full heat to get the material there. So I've put about 8 mil into that side. Localize the heat to 65 mil. Localize it just to the toe. Okay, so now we've got plenty of material in the toe and down the branches for the massalots. Now we can bend a hind toe and shape the toe up nicely. Tight toe bend, it's a very long, narrow shoe. Take the toe down a little bit, working the toenail to toenail. And leave the material at the sides. To make my mass lots. I'll flatten my toe out. Set my mass lot slightly on the side. Turn it. Now we can see I've got more material each side of toe for my mass lots, for my clips. Outside heels, we want to keep it blocky, so I'll just forge outside edge over the horn, knock it back into itself. I got a nice heel shape. Just clean it up behind the mass lot. Now we can bend the branch. It's a long shape, it's a long narrow shoe. We bend our branch and we can still see there's plenty of material there for the clip. Next thing is to fuller it and stamp the two holes at the toe. I'm marking my fullering. So now we'll finish the outside branch and go on to the inside branch. And I just hem up the edge. Fuller it. Making sure that the fuller stays the same distance from the inside edge. We'll flatten it. Take it to the edge, I can start my mass lot. Now 
Now I'm holding at the front of the mass slot, one at the back of the mass slot, there's a big gap, and then three close together. I'll put the heel one in and then one in the middle. Forge the inside heel, again, make it a good one. It's quite a round heel in the picture. So follow the style that's there. I'll draw my branch from behind the mass lock. This has got quite a bit of taper. Clean up the heel. Flatten it. Bring it back to 10 millimeter. I'll bend the branch, long shape. Work up the edge for the full ring. I'll pull it down for the mass slot over the radius edge. Overlapping, walking all the time. Have the fuller finishing at the set, fullering point, finishing opposite each other. Work up the edges. We'll flatten it. Nail holes, one at the mass, front of the mass lock, then two well behind. Heel nail at the widest point. These are for the Mustad Libro Arc 5. Be aware they've got to fit. That's good. Now we've got to put two nail holes in the toe, then we can clip it. I didn't overheat it because I'm putting the nail holes in and I don't want to damage my punch. I'm just each side of the center, about a quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch each side of the center. I'm punching them upright. Stamp it one more time to make sure they're clean and crisp. Then we can put chill. Now when I clip an Italian shoe, they like big clips. And if you see in the picture, even though they've made masslets, they still come in with their hammer and take a little bit more material. So it's not that you have to leave a square edge with the Italian shoes. It's very important that they have large clips, tall clips. I'll start taking some material out of the shoe to, to get my clip big enough. Once I've got the material brought back, now I can start drawing the clip. Very important to bring it from the base so the clip gets tall enough. Once I've got my marks in the clip, now I've got to take them out. I've got a large clip, a level behind it. I'll set my clip onto the angle of the hoof wall. So even though I've got a large clip, I have only taken a small amount of source material. So it looks something like the picture at the competition. I'm getting the material back there with the round of my hammer. Now I can start drawing the clip from the base. 
it's important to stay at the base for as long as possible. Get the clip coming up so it's coming up tall. Then work to the top. Then flatten all the marks out. Then we forge the flatten behind the clip. And now just forge the clip in. Level the shoe. Nail fit, good. That was the Libro Arc, Libro Arc 5, so we're good for that. But well, we're done. So this measures 165 by 135. 